Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to be finally painting the 7-3. So we have the bed still sitting over here in the uh, yard, but today we are going to start taking off all the trim pieces down here, the emblems, and I'm also going to be taking the trim off the wheel. Uh, I guess they're wheel flares or whatever you want to call them, but we are going to be trying to take that off today. I'm still going to be driving this truck to work and stuff, so I can't start taking off the mirrors and stuff like that until uh, probably Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so uh, I'm going to try to paint on Saturday. But yeah, that's what we're going to try and start doing right now. Um, and I also bought some silicone caulk or a body body seam filler for the uh, gutter up here because it is starting to split, as you can see there. So I'll take a wire wheel in there, clean it out, and seal that. So um, may not get that to, to that today because of the weather. It's kind of uh, nasty outside so the main thing like I said is removing these three from this side and the three from the other side so let's get right to work side has been completely torn off now um i was kind of disappointed because whenever i tore it off you can see all those chips in there the uh the um eraser wheel was just taking those chips out so i don't know if the paint was bad there or the eraser wheel was just eating it away or what but the good thing is we're repainting it so it's not a huge deal i just i have to sand that area really good get as flat as i can but uh after i get it painted i'm not sure if i want to put those back on or not so you can leave your um opinion down in the comments if you'd like to but we got the badges off they came off pretty easy uh same thing here i knew it was going to scratch it with the screwdrivers but it's getting painted so it's okay but i want to keep those the badges so i'm going to just put some adhesive on the back of them and stick them back on when i get done but the next thing we need to do is get the other side done and then we will get on to the next thing you confirm that it is just the paint is bad right here as you can see it's chipping real bad right along that edge sides of the truck have been fully erased now the next thing we need to do is take off this fender flare so it's just phillip head screws you gotta have a stubby uh, screwdriver so you can fill it, fit them in there but we're gonna get these taken off and we'll call it a night it's the next day we got the uh, fenders all done all the trim the next thing we're gonna do is start filling in the uh, low spots bonda so there's a spot here door ding there's a spot here i ran, went around last night with a sharpie and marked them at least most of them there's a spot here spot down there bunch of spots on the hood from a uh i'm assuming it's a hell storm because it's all right here in this area and then uh there is one spot over here and then two right here on the door so Gonna go grab the sander with 220 grit and start sanding these down to metal. Got all the spots sanded down with 220 grit. And um, over here on the side, these were like big rust scratches and stuff like that. So I already primed it again. And same with up here, there was another one right here. It's gonna need another shot of primer, but just to keep it from getting rusty right now. So. Uh, Got them all cleaned off with paint thinner. Now we're gonna grab the Bondo and start laying the Bondo. I was in somewhat of a rush because it was about to rain. So I went ahead and slapped the Bondo on here, got my truck in the garage or in the barn. And uh, everything is dry now, or it is dry enough to start sanding. So that's what we're gonna start doing next. And then we will hit up with some primer and be done with the Bondo. been a little while since i checked in with y'all last but we got the bed off we got the bumper off or the uh, grill guard off we got the grill off and we got the uh headlights headlight housings i guess you would say off um the next thing we need to do is take this whole piece of plastic off here and that is how you get to these lights so there's 15 or 5 16 uh bolts here 
And then you have your lights running through here, down here, and then one through that hole there. So I'm gonna remove this because I'm gonna put brand new lights in because uh, going to all this trouble might as well. So let's get back to work. We are pretty much done pulling everything off now. Um, still would like to pull these off. I'm gonna watch some videos, see if I can figure out how to take these completely off so I can get them plain in black. Gotta take these little ones out here. All the windows are gonna stay in. I'm gonna tape them off. Uh, I'm gonna slide cards in here and pull them up. I saw that on a video yesterday. And then on these, I'm gonna put a piece of rope behind them uh, so I can spray between them and then pull the rope out. And hopefully that will fix the seam. Door handles are staying on, key staying on. Uh, what else is there to do? Everything's good here. Um, back window is going to be the same thing. I still need to put that silicone in my gutters up there. I'll do that tomorrow also. Coming to the other side. Looking the same. Everything's looking good. I took my antenna off. I'd like to get this piece off, but I'm not sure how to get this off. So it'll probably just stay and I'll probably just touch this up with some black paint. Um, same with that windshield wiper, I'd like to get it off. Sprayed also on all the rust while ago, that's what that is there. Sprayed on the roof, it actually cleaned up the roof really nice. Oh, that's what I have to take off. Uh, I bought a tool, it just came in the mail, so I'm gonna be taking the silver or chrome trim off of around the windows, at least this window, I mean, the front windshield. And uh, other than that, we'll be ready to start wet sanding tomorrow, taping off everything, and then hang in the paint booth in here. I watched some videos on YouTube last night, and the way to remove your windshield wiper arm is this little tab right here. You get a screwdriver, then you have to pick up on the arm here. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, so excuse me if this is terrible. And you pull up on that, drag the arm back down to hold it good. So let me give you all another angle. So if you're looking at it, it should be touching right there. So we're gonna grab it again, and then you just wiggle it off back and forth. There it is, comes right off. Uh, they said these are pretty cheap to replace, so I'm gonna look for them, see if they're cheap enough. If not, I'm just gonna spray some black spray paint on them and be done. Sprayers are super easy. You just get a, a screwdriver under the back end down here, pull up on it, and it comes right out. I mean, super simple. Then you just pop it off the hose. Same with the other side. And I'll uh, plug those with something so no bugs will crawl on it while I'm painting it or no paint will get into it. And other than that, we are, uh, Looking pretty good now. The next thing I'm gonna do is go get that tool, get that tool and try to remove this chrome uh, trim around the window. I got everything wet sand in now. Wet sand the the bed first with a Scotch Bright pad. Um, washed it off and everything. Came over to the truck, um, wet sanded it fully scratched out all the uh, rock chips and stuff like that. So got all that done. Also worked on the hood. There was some rust rust spots on the hood up there. Got that good. Uh, washed the frame and everything. So whenever I get in the booth, there won't be particles flying around. So yeah, the next thing we need to do is pull the truck back into the barn and we will um, start gutter or doing the gutters up here. We got the seam sealer in the crack up here now. That stuff was extremely, extremely hard to get out of the tube. And it's extremely sticky, so I did my best. I used the end of a screw to stick down there and try to smooth it out and keep it where I needed it. But uh, other than that, it's looking good. The next thing I need to do is wipe down the truck one more time, and then I think we'll be ready to start putting up the paint booth and painting it. We got the bed in the barn, and we got the truck in the barn. The next thing we need to do is start taping off the windows. So we are gonna be putting a rope behind this window seal and try to put some rope behind this window seal. So when you paint, it'll get behind the window seal or under the window seal, and then you can pull that rope out. So that's gonna be the next thing we do.
Went ahead, got everything taped up, all the windshields. I still need to put plastic over them, but I'm gonna do that whenever I hang my paint booth here in a second. But we got the handles all taped off, all the holes plugged. These holes up here, we're not gonna worry about. And then we got all the windshield wiper and stuff up here done. Coming to the back, back here, we got the back window done and the third brake light. Like I said earlier, we used that rope and then we kind of stuck the tape behind that seal. So everything's looking good. The next thing we need to do is start hanging the uh, tarp. And then we're also gonna be putting some plastic down here on the bottom in, in the wheel fenders. So we got the plastic on the windows now. I forgot to tell y'all uh, in the last clip, I used playing cards around these seals and that helps pull back the seal and then you can get a good spray under them. And then you can of course take those playing cards out and then it lays back where it needs to. I could have done the same thing here, but I just taped it right along the edge. Think it looks good. But uh, like I said, we got all the plastic on now. The next thing we need to do is tape off the engine bay, tape off all under the skirts. And then we will uh, hang, hang the paint booth and start painting. We have got the painting booth all set up now. The last thing we need to do is bring out the edges farther away from the truck. And then we will uh, be ready to start prepping the, uh, prepping the paint, wipe it down with a reducer, and then we're gonna grab the uh, air compressor and start painting. The truck is all painted now. The bed is all painted now. We got the tailgates over here and we got the two doors. So everything is looking really nice. Uh, I have a few runs and a few spots, but hopefully whenever I get out in the sun, the sun will kind of level it out. But uh, other than that, I'm very, very pleased with how it came out. Uh, we still need to take this, get this right aligned. And then I'm also thinking about maybe putting a uh, stripe down the side here, like a uh, blue. Uh, if that would be, if y'all think that'd be a good color, leave a comment down below. Uh, if not, if you have another suggestion on what color we should do it, please leave a comment, and uh, I really would appreciate it. But I think the next thing we need to do is just let it sit here and dry a little bit more, and then we'll start taking off the tape. Went ahead, got the tailgate plate out here. Uh, it's all sanded out. We're gonna use some uh, spray enamel on it and get this thing painted. Um, the truck, a few updates. We got a new uh, Phillip uh, neck on it. We also got some new window trim for the bottom parts of these windows. And then uh, I got the windshield wipers painted. Sprayed them also with this magic spray enamel. Um, there you go, you can see the arms right there. Looking good, gonna have to get some new windshield wipers. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff, like the lights and stuff coming in. And then I started putting the stuff back on the uh, back side of the tailgate or the truck bed. So, like I said, we're gonna go outside, spray that tailgate with this stuff, and then hopefully get the bed on tomorrow or the next day. Uh, my sending unit wasn't working right, so I took it apart and I found out the uh, float, if you can hear, it has diesel inside of it. So. Bought me a new float also, that will be here tomorrow, so hopefully we can get all this put back together and the bed on. The cover is all done now. The next thing we are gonna do is start putting all of our plastics on and our lights back in. So the first thing we're gonna work on is what I have in this basket is a gas, or this box is a gasket for the third brake light up here. I went ahead and got a uh, one off of Amazon that's LED. And as you can see here, it looks pretty nice. The only bad thing is whenever you put it in here the first time, it does not sit in there flush. It has like a gap about that big in there, about that big. And the reason why is because you can see where I grind those little edges off. They have screws there 
and it hits the edge of the cab. So if you wanna use one of these, you have to take that off and then you have to buy a gasket so there's no leaks because there is no gasket that come with these. So first thing we're gonna do is put the gasket on this and get it put in. New third brake light is all in. It's a big upgrade from the old one as you can see here. Um, you can open the door. So that's what it looks like when you open the door and when you hit the brake, there it is. So that's all in. The seal looks good. It's a pretty thick seal, so it does sit off of the, uh, the cab a little bit, but it completely seals the hole. So we should be good there. The next thing we need to do is put the tailgate on and put the tail lights in. Back is all done. The next thing we're gonna do is polish up these. So this is what it looks like before, and this is what it looks like after. You can, it's a pretty big difference in person. On camera, you can't tell too much, but I'm using this metal polish cream. Got this at Napa. And then we are also putting in the new headlights. So that's the new one, that's the old one. So very big difference to get these headlights off. It's kind of hard because there's these little snap rings, but you pop the snap ring open and then pull this upwards and it'll pull it off. So um, once we get that done, we'll throw the front back on, throw the grill back on, and we will be ready to put the uh, grill guard on. is all back together now we got the tailgate plate back on back there with the tail lights coming over here we got the uh cab lights on got the mirrors on i also painted this because this was real rusty so i just used some of this rust-oleum came out pretty nice got the trim around the window back on the windshield wipers and the front up here including the grill guard so the last thing we need to do is paint the Ford that goes on the tailgate plate back here. So that where it says Ford right there, I have the plastic letters out here, just sand them down. I was gonna leave them like this, but this one has that black on it and this one has some scratches on it. So we're gonna paint with this and uh, get this thing finished. All right, so we are on the last thing we're gonna do for this video, which is putting on the fender flares again. So these are the ones that were on the truck already. And then that one over there is the one that came with my bed. The ones that came with the truck had this plastic rubber around the edge of it. The ones that came with the bed did not. So what I bought on the internet was this L um, rubber. So what I'm gonna do is take this L rubber, cut it in half, cut it down the middle because um, it's too wide to fit between this right here. So I'll cut it down the middle, run it around the edge of that one over there, and we will put it on the truck. So that's what we're gonna do next. That's gonna be right for this video. Thank you all for watching. So the truck is all back together. It's looking really good. Um, front headlights are done. I put LEDs up here and the uh, the actual headlights themselves. The rest are regular halogen. Still need to put the badges on. That would, I might do like a YouTube short or something of me putting that stuff on. But the mirrors are all on. I think I showed you all that yesterday. Did a little paint touch up on them. Got some bed rails up here. Don't have those installed yet because I'm gonna get this bed line hopefully tomorrow. And then we have the wolf enders back here. So, like I said, thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.